Now, I don't want to show a lot of the tape from last night because it's too hard to look at. But... Why are you laughing? It reminded me of uh, when Mike Tyson used to knock guys out in 90 seconds. Like, that was like two minutes into the debate, and I yeah. went, oh, this election is over. What should they do? I say quit. I said it a long time ago, and now I think it's absolutely apparent that is the only way. But that's only half the crowd. It's absolutely wild how Bill Maher can be one of the most honest Democrats in the media one second, then immediately regresses back to it's different when we do it in the very next breath. After Biden's monumentally horrific debate performance against Trump on Thursday, Democrats in the media are having a very public panic attack about whether or not Biden should be replaced, with most, including Bill Maher now, saying that he should quit. Which is very interesting, right? Since the media has been telling us for the last few weeks and years, that Biden is perfectly fine and any video suggesting otherwise is a right-wing cheat fake. I knew it, I'm surrounded by assholes. Surprise, they're all nothing but liars who are quite literally just an extension of the Democrat party and the Joe Biden campaign. And that brings us to today's clip from Bill Maher's show last night featuring Tulsi Gabbard and the Democrat party media ancient relic, Chris Matthews, who seems to be trying to do his best impersonation of Joe Biden. No, I don't want to show a lot of the tape from last night because it's too hard to look at. But, <laughs> but just show this one thing. We picked out one thing. Just for people who don't watch, and they watch this show to catch yeah. up on the news, this is what the Republic is going to show from now until Election Day. Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with uh, everything we have to do with. See that uh, head? Look, if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President Trump? Well, he's right, he did beat Medicare. He beat it to death. <laughs> you see the head, the way he turned that head? He wanted to, he, he knew the two shot would be up there. He wanted to have his head turning like, let's watch the guy show how crazy he is. He's, he's looking for it. Excuse me. What? Look, this is this election. You're blaming that on Trump? No, and I'm watching his, his, his it, theatrical ability. He is playing this. Okay, but he didn't have to do anything. I mean, he came out. It reminded me of uh, when Mike Tyson used to knock guys out in 90 seconds. Like, that was like two okay. minutes into the debate, and I yeah. went, oh, this election is over. I mean, that was like a haymaker, right? I, look, I'm watching the guy. He is so fast on the, tr on the trigger. I watched him. He comes up with, well, he pulled out of Afghanistan in a disastrous way. That's true. He didn't fire anybody. He didn't fire Jake Tapper or any of the generals. That's all true. Then he'll throw in, oh, by the way, illegal people can get Medicare and Social Security. No, they can't. He just throws in the lies. He mixes up the lies with some truth. Yeah, oh, and then yeah. Obama, I'm sorry, Biden is not smart enough to keep up with him. He just can't right. keep up with him. Well, that's the, isn't that the whole point? Yeah. That you need a guy to keep up with him. Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question. Hey, good boy. Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> right, Chris. Right. Puzzled Donald Trump looking over at Joe Biden rambling incoherently was all part of a devious conspiracy that he planned beforehand in order to trick us on to thinking that Joe Biden sounds crazy. Stupid! Second, over 1 million illegal immigrants are currently getting taxpayer funded health care in 11 states, including California, with something called Medi Cal. Enrollment in these taxpayer funded programs is expected to double in 2025 which sounds to me like a good reason to vote for Donald Trump. Trump has said, I'm going to make sure I get even with half this country that's probably going to vote against me. He's going to go after public officials. He's going after commentators. He's going after editorial writers. He's going to go after everybody. And, they, and they're basically at stake right now. So it's not going to be a free country. He well, said, I'm if, going to get that's... those people. He said about women, there needs to be some form of punishment. That's how he started his discussion but of abortion. Thing about him. And, he, and, and he went out ahead and he put those three judges on the Supreme Court and he got rid of Roe v. Wade. He did that. Your rights are gone. He is out there to remove people's rights. That's the real danger. And we don't know where it's going to end. We do not know. Nobody can sit here tonight or this November and say they know where Trump's going to stop. Or what, whatever he's going to do. Because he's crazy. But the difference, the difference is the erosion of, of free speech. Uh, the, the targeting of political opponents has actually occurred 
under the Biden administration. That is completely different. <laughs> I honestly cannot tell if these people actually believe this insane shit, especially since all of this has been happening ever since Donald Trump won in 2016. Look what happened to Alex Jones, Tucker Carlson, and countless others who speak out against the state. Since then, the Democrats, the media, and the so-called deep state have been exacting revenge upon Donald Trump, those around him, and even his supporters down to just regular people. They have so much support from the institutions and are so unconcerned that they publicly brag about it. You take on the intelligence community, they have six ways from Sunday at getting back at you. So even for a practical, supposedly hard-nosed businessman, he's being really dumb to do this. Of January the 6th. And since that day, more than 1,200 people have been charged for their assault on the Capitol. Nearly 900 of them have been convicted or pled guilty. Collectively to date, they have been sentenced to more than 840 years in prison. Are we the fathers? Yeah, by the way, all those Trump supporters that Joe Biden's bragging about imprisoning are all going to have their charges dropped because the Supreme Court just found the DOJ's methods to be unlawful. That the election happened, he never conceded. He still has not conceded the last election. That's, you think it's patriotic to back someone who treats America that way? I think what you've that heard, does, I think what you've heard from Trump is the same thing you've heard from Hillary Clinton, the same thing you've heard from a lot of other people who he have called him an illegitimate has president. Not, and can, that's he not, she never want, you know, she, she did a, not. No, no, that's over there. We're, that's over there, Tulsi. We're talking about he has not conceded the last election. Can I quote to you, I think I have it somewhere, the quote from the, oh fuck, I don't know. <laughs> there it is. This is the election's joint statement from the Election Infrastructure Government Coordinating Council and the Department of Homeland Security, Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. The November 3rd election was the most secure in American history. There is no evidence that any voting system deleted or lost votes, changed votes, or was in any way compromised. And here's Mitch McConnell. The election was not unusually close. Okay. Bob Barr said he, he lost the election. I'm, I'm not, I'm not disputing He I'm not lost disputing the election things. and he has not conceded. But what I'm saying but is that's that, your guy. Well, what I'm saying is when you look at his statements, and again, I don't have all of the quotes, but I've seen and heard them many times. You don't need quotes. It doesn't make any, it, there's no distinction or difference between what he and Hillary Clinton no, essentially. Hillary Clinton. Oh, that was different. Does anyone out there actually buy this narrative about Donald Trump being uniquely dangerous in his election denial? Or do all of you know at this point the Democrats are the ones who started the whole thing. Let me know in the comments. I'm not going to rehash this because I've probably done about 50 videos on this topic. But the fact is, it is the Democrat Party who started the entire trend of election denial and violence during the transfer of power. It started in 2000, continued in 2004, then again in 2016. While Hillary did officially concede, she and her support base in the FBI launched the Russian collusion scheme as a means of delegitimizing Trump and the election. She herself made several high-profile appearances where she claimed that both Trump and the election were illegitimate. Bill Maher is kind of right, though. It is different in that what Hillary did was way worse and also shows the big difference between what Trump and the so-called deep state can do with their institutional power. All of these fanatical predictions about what Trump's going to do when he gets in power are just projections from people who are scared that their own standards might come back to bite them. All right, folks, what do you all think? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis. So keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.